when we look at the grievances that Zimbabwe's protesters have right now, the issue that seems to top the list is the state of the economy and how badly it's been run under the current government, and especially the way in which the economy has been looted by a corrupt ruling class. You and your late husband, Solomon Majuro, amassed a lot of wealth together over the decades, uh, millions of dollars worth of assets, real estate, farming, diamond mining, business. Was all of that acquired completely legally? You were a minister, he was a soldier. How did you acquire such a massive multi-million dollar empire? The world knows when Mujuru left government and he started to live a private life where he was a miner, a farmer, and a business person. And we can ask ourselves, where was he putting whatever he was making out of whatever he was doing? Anyway, to cut the long story short, Mujuru is now five years late. The estate for Mujuru should have by now brought out how worth Mujuru was. Why is it that they are still very quiet about those billions of dollars that the world has been told? Because this is now the opportune time for the world to discover but how much is what your estate Mujuru worth? is worth. You tell us and today, what Muju, uh, what how much Joyce is your estate is worth? worth? In Zimbabwe today, you're running for my president? estate. My estate. You mean my estate? Yes. My estate. I only have a farm. Which farm? I have only done improvements, and with those improvements, I will tell you, I have a, a loan with a bank, which is worth 3.5 million. And I also am waiting to have my matrimonial home given me by the, you know, once the state is, is wound out. And that's when I'm also waiting to hear from those that have been putting together what Solomon Mujuru amassed according to the world. And with what I understand, they have failed to pronounce exactly what Mujuru is but you can understand, worth. surely, so surely, to Joyce Majuro, you can billions of dollars. Forget billions. Let's I'm say sure millions. Let's say billions. That is easy. Okay, forget the to billions. Find out. Forget the billions. Now that Solomon is late. Okay, forget the billions. But even in the millions, as you yourself just said, you're worth. You can understand why the average Zimbabwean looks at people like yourself and says, "Look at these politicians. They have such small salaries, but they seem to have so much more money than us. How is that possible?" You know, I, I don't have all that the, you are told. Well, you know, I'm going on your three and a half million, which is pretty good, world. I would argue for. Yeah, it's a loan that I have with the, okay. with the And bank. you don't have any you of your late husband's wealth? On, you have no access to any of your late husband's wealth? No, it's all with the courts. It's all with the courts, what he is worth. And you, are, you can actually ask them how much they have managed to identify that belonged to Solomon. And they can tell you that all was fabrication, not in billions of dollars that you have always been told.